All right, we are recording. So, again, hi guys, welcome to episode two of the Politically Incorrect Podcast, where freedom of speech comes to be abused and to die. I am your host, I am Danny Deceptive Cobras Monaghan, and as always, my lovely co-host, Michelle the Baroness Monaghan, and we have two guests, actually, well, technically three, we have three guests, I look at an account, we have Mike Darpina, hello, and we have Pal Hands, hello, and we have Stuart, aka Crypto, hello, hello, now, one of the things I, I, I want to touch up on, we talked about it briefly during my uh, live stream, which was uh, uh, the Confederate flag. <sighs> well, correction, it's not the Confederate flag. It is the battle flag, not the Confederate flag. And again, if people are getting so butthurt about flags hurting their feelings, I'm going to say it now, the rainbow flag hurts my feelings. So goddamn bright. Very bright. I don't want your fancy shit waved in front of my face if I can't wave my not so fancy red flag in front of your face. Plain and simple. And it was like you were saying, Mike, during the podcast. It's going to get to the point where it's going to be group versus group and, 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 and hate group versus this and then that and then the other. And, and, and yep, the more we and, divide and ourselves, the it, more we. Exactly. It's the whole fight. divide and conquer thing. It's the whole divide and conquer thing. I now I'm not sure if any of you know about this about the Jade Helm project. Do you know what the Jade Helm pro um, project is? Briefly, yeah. Nope. You should probably explain it because oh, yeah. that's a very long time ago. The Jade Helm project is a military project. It's being done by the US military actually here in the US. Uh, Utah, Texas, Arizona, California, uh no, it's not Nevada. It's it's basically all the lower states bar Nevada. They're all going to have military light... Well, they, they, they're, they're saying it's going to be blanks in the guns, but it's going to be a, a, a not-so-live-fire actual potential terrorist attack. You're going to have U.S. troops dressed up as Al-Qaeda, and you're going to have U.S. troops as regular U.S. troops, and it's basically going to be one either one great big huge airsoft event, in which a whole bunch of real airsoft guys are just going to wreck face, or it's going to be one monumental cock-up. A lot of the... the, the Alien, you know, the truth is out there, fanboys, are saying it's the military, it's Obama trying to do a uh, military coup and trying to usurp power like he's the emperor. And I'm like, oh, what's next? They're going to start wearing white uniforms. And I would like that. I would and, really like that. <laughs> and, and literally tell everyone to move along, move along, move along. And Joe Biden's going to be Darth Vader. I don't fucking think so. He's, Joe Biden's creepy enough as it is. Have you ever seen Joe Biden at a press event? If there's a woman near him in the press event, he's all hands-on and gropey. He's like that weird pedophilic uncle you always had that got kind of touchy-feely, you know? Uncle Joe? Yeah, exactly, you know? <laughs> Pastor Washington, <laughs> oh, Uncle Joe. oh no! Yeah, he's not really your uncle, though, you know? And, and I'm so. serious, Joe Biden is all fucking grabby. If you ever see any press material of Joe Biden, a video of him, what's he doing? Holding a woman's elbow or her wrist or t actually touching her boob. Uh, actually groping the tit. Uh, no, and he's not even hiding it. He's not even being sneaky about it. It's like, fuck it, I'm the vice president. What's you going to do? Sorry, yeah. life out at them. Literally, I swear to God, he might as well might as well put on Horatio Kane sunglasses. Like, deal with it, you know. <laughs> <laughs> sort of shit. Now, back, back to your well. comment about Obama being like the emperor. I can just see him now walking around the National Mall, going, "Fuck you, stripy bag." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, stripy bag. <laughs> Hello, everybody. <laughs> I don't know if you know about. Uh, what they're doing with Jade Helm, but they've actually designated certain states to be equivalent Hostile. to certain kind of foreign countries' policies. Yeah, like, out. some are permissive. Yep. Some of them are openly hostile. Yep, yep. So Utah. It's, it's like they're modeling the entire Mideast yeah. and the and, Southwest. And the ironic thing is, they've marked the whole of Utah as hostile. I like that. I and that's that. what's pissed off a lot of, of gun-toting sure rednecks around it. No, dude. Dude, I'm serious. A lot of gun-toting rednecks around here are pissed. They're like, if, I swear to God, if I see one soldier, I'm going to shoot that motherfucker right in the head. And I'm like, and you wonder why they marked this down as hostile. Keep playing your banjo. Bling, bong, bing, bong, bing, bong, bing. Run, I hear banjos. 
<laughs> based based off the criteria, I think that Utah has been designated as Syria for the event. Yep. <laughs> I'm like, great. So I have to take a nappy and put it on my head. Got to You know. Uh, uh, uh. Here's what I don't get. Why are we going to all this effort? I mean, it's. Can it, we just it goes, do it for real? It'll be quicker. Yeah, exactly. Let's exactly. I mean, just and, do it for and, real. And like I said, I mean, all this is going to do is create a point of animosity and anger, you know, for everybody <laughs> involved. And all it's going to do is add to the fire of all this bullshit that's going on. You know what? And this is the thing. I've got a f- my, 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 my boss, Justin. Okay, he, he's a big bug out bag survivalist. You know, he's waiting for the robot killer zombie Nazis from Mars. You know, he really <laughs> is. He, he, he really is. Okay, he's 3D printed his own small salt and pepper pot that shakers that fit inside his go travel thing. And, and literally, so, uh, if he opens up his go bag, it's like a game of Tetris. He can take a 20 course meal out of this one little pouch he's made, you know. And if it, if he can't find readily find the thing on, off a shelf, he 3D prints it. My That's boss has gone through about six hundred dollars worth of printing material just printing stuff for his bug out bag. I mean, insane, but... he, I he is that shit insane. I definitely <laughs> yeah. would say that you know he's prepared. <laughs> yeah, he's more than prepared. More than prepared. I mean, he bought a brand new at the time, twenty thirteen Jeep. Uh, 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 not not the it's, it's the four door newer jeeps. The, it was used in the in the Terminator Three. Yeah. The Long Wrangler, that version. The Long Wrangler. Yeah, yeah. And what he's done is he's had a secondary tank installed in the vehicle because he doesn't know when he's going to get to stop the refill for petrol and stuff. He, I mean, he's talking about going out in the desert and waiting for the bombs to drop. It sounds very Mad Max-ish now. Yeah, he, he's proper fucking out there. Yeah, and I, and I love him because he's a card-carrying member of Bucca. You know, I, w- w- whenever there's any kind of child abuse case going on, the first thing he does is like, "What can we do?" I mean, he's like the the, the he's the Utah chapter head of Bucca, Justin O'Rafferty. You can look him up. That's my boss, and. He's a card-carrying nutcase at times, you know. <laughs> but the moment he hears a child has been touched, abused, you know, you name it, man, he's he he can form up his own. He he could form his own five hundred and first. Has There's he a, started to boycott Subway? Yes. <laughs> the whole Jared being a pedophile yeah. thing. Yeah, he's already done that. He's already way, way ahead of you. I thought Jared wasn't under investigation, but okay. <laughs> They're talking about somebody's talking about cutting ties with him. Trust me, he's he's more than under investigation. <laughs> yeah, he's kept off the weight, not the kids. So. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Hey, he had to burn those calories somewhere. <laughs> Sub- oh my! Subway. Hey, 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 hey! Subway's new motto: Subway, molest fresh. <laughs> there you go. Oh my god! <laughs> high five. <laughs> Virtual high five. <laughs> but now this is the politically incorrect podcast. We will talk exactly. about whatever the fuck yeah. we want. And again, the whole Jade Helm thing. I think it's just stupid. Um, I know too many crazy ass survivalists. If you've ever watched any uh, uh, gun shows like Sons of Guns and whatnot, there's a reason why they don't come to Utah. We're more crazy than them. Oh, you made a, a dual M16, huh? We made a Gatland M16, and yes, it does work. They took 18 M16s, 18, and made all single shot M16s, put 60 round beta mags on every one of them suckers. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. And fired it. It shredded a fucking Econo line van in less than a second. Because that totally serves a purpose. Yep. I've got a bigger dick gun than you. (laughs) And literally, they sent that video to Sons of Guns, and Sons of Guns' answer was, You're fucking crazy. We're never coming to Utah. You're also talking about the guys that, 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 I mean, for crying out loud, Utah creates rocket engines. I, uh, one of the kids I helped raise in, in a youth project, he now works for the Department 
of NASA that makes the rocket boosters. Oh shit! Yeah. How many guns does he strap onto it? He wanted to. He, he I actually no. He wanted to strap lasers onto it. Oh, that's a good idea. Yes, he wants we'll get lasers. The sharks up there. Yeah, screw sharks. It's rockets with freaking laser beams. No, he, he he wanted lasers on it, and I asked him why, and he goes, Star Wars. <laughs> That's a good answer. Eat shit and die, Reagan. This is a true Star Wars project. Exactly. He wants Star Wars. But then again, he's also one of the kids that, that actually would show me detailed plans of how he would actually construct a Star Destroyer. And it's and the Death Star, and know. and he even figured out that there is enough raw steel resources on the planet to actually make the Death Star. Just. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Be living in a hollow shell, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, he said everything: turbine, the elevators, the floors, everything. <laughs> even the super like laser. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> even the super laser. <laughs> And I'm like, look, if we were ever going to do something like that, it would probably be like a way station, you know, with like a, 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 a some tethering cables to Earth, so we can and just a super laser with a super laser, of course, you know, mostly so that we could, you know, elevate stuff up to the station and then onto shuttle pods, you know. Yeah, they want to do the space elevator thing. Yeah, do the, exactly do the space elevator thing, and it would actually save so much raw resources doing it that way. It, it, it wouldn't eat it and again a lot of scientists say it's a great idea and then you get these dumb scientists that say it's a dumb idea because a terrorist can get up there and cut the tethers and it will just free fall back to really earth to do something they will do it exactly so if you want to fuck something up you will find a way to fuck it uh, alright first and foremost if we have not only one if we have the technology to build something strong enough to tether something that's that size in orbit to the earth I highly doubt some bumfuck Iraqi or whatever terrorist is going to figure out a way to cut it off. Hey, 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 hey. First hey. contact wasn't a bumblefuck Iraqi. It was actually what's his name's fucking son from Lethal Weapon. Wait, what? Not, it's not Jeff Bridges. What was his fucking name? <laughs> Oh, I thought you misunderstood what I said for a second. I'm like, what? <laughs> I was talking. He was saying, you know, terrorists will find a way to get up there, and I'm like, well, and break the cables. Well, if we, ha it's got to be super strong to hold it to the planet. <laughs> Gary Busey. It was it was Gary Busey's son that blew it up. <laughs> that buck toothed ugly motherfucker. Who looks like he's done way too much meth. Seriously, it was Gary Busey's son that blew up the last one in first contact. <laughs> so, yeah, exactly. It wasn't Ar Iraqi. Oh it was an American. Oh, my God. That that's Busey's kid? Yep, that's Gary Busey's really? son. Oh, wow. Yep, Gary Busey has a, has a son who's an actor. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Now you get now he's Wikipediaing that shit. He's like, no, he, no, not really, no, 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 fuck off. No, it's, seriously, it, it doesn't exist. <laughs> Gary if Busey Wikipedia doesn't say so. It doesn't exist. Yep, Gary Busey actually has uh, two boys. Gary Busey looks like a bumblefuck anyway. So. Yeah, he is. Like I said, everything looks fine to me. <laughs> okay, Gary. <laughs> he really looks like a child molester. Put put the crack pipe down, <laughs> Gary. Moving back to previous conversation. Yes. <laughs> hey, Gary Busey says Subway. Hey, fresh. Bless <laughs> <laughs> <Less> fresh. <laughs> My last fresh. Do 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 do. Hey, Gary, pass that two-year-old. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, Gar what Gary. Gary's with that two-year-old. Uh, you mm. do. Oh, hey, Gary Busey likes that idea. Two drumsticks, two thighs, and it works. Woo-hoo! Mm -hmm. Hey, put some coleslaw on that. <laughs> I can and slide in real nice. And some hummus. <laughs> hey, hummus makes good lubricant. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but Jake Busey. Yeah, Jake Busey is his son. Yep. He looks a prat. Yes, he is. <laughs> He, he is a prat. But, um, now, another thing, politics. Uh, everyone keeps going on about uh, uh, 
in, uh, was it England first or something like that? Some stupid uh, anti-Muslim protesters uh, were, that were, were did a protest in Luton or some shit. Oh, I vaguely remember it. It was not at all covered in the news because it was just bullshit. Mm -hmm. <coughs> like England first or some shit like that. Yeah, yeah, it's England first. I disassociate my. I dissociate myself from these people. Yeah. <laughs> you and me both. That, that's just a funny concept. I'm sorry. I mean, like, against Muslims or whatever. Because didn't at one point well, the British Empire rule India? Yes. But no, no. You see. They ruled most of the world. See, you squirrel! remember that. <laughs> squirrel! But no, no. You see, the thing is, some of the stuff they've posted is just too fucking funny. It really is. I mean, some of the stuff they've posted is about how they're going to kick the Queen out, 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 out of Buckingham Palace and turn it into a mosque. And all this stupid shit. This is what Muslims are saying. This is what the stupid fuck Muslims are saying. Yeah. Pretty this much. Is, this is what the stupid fuck Muslims are saying. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, called, it's called Britain First. They, they have their own Facebook page and everything. Mm. And... People keep sending me these links because they, oh, 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 you must, you know, like these people because I'm from England. I'm like, no, I couldn't fucking stand these assholes. You know, they, these are the sort of people that 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 are just wrong. Like, thing is, like, I know plenty of Muslim people and other religions that are fine. Mm -hmm. These type of people, I want to get their dick, cut it off, shove it up their ass, and make them into a butt fuck it. Fuck yeah. It. So, See, yeah. one of the thing, one of the things I, I find, like, I, 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 now, 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 don't get me wrong. There are some things about the Muslim religion I find completely fucking asinine and stupid. Like if you actually look at uh, 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 the countries that now require women to wear burqas, you look at them in the seventies. Not a single woman's wearing a burqa. They're wearing mini skirts and shit like this. It's like, so what the fuck changed all of a sudden? So now that now they're enforcing their own stupid Shalaya law, and, and 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 don't get me on about this halal meat shit. Fuck's sake, you know, for crying out loud! And everyone's like, yeah, five hundred years. Yeah, exactly. They they they're not embracing anything. I mean, the fact that you you take fifty percent of your country's workforce and pur purposely tell them, no, you're going to stay in the kitchen. You know, you, you're going to cover up if you have to go outside. Well, you know what? There are there's, there's countries like France, the Netherlands, Denmark, Sweden that have openly said no face coverings at all, regardless of religi religious belief. So if a woman goes outside with a burqa on, she has to take it off. Oh, yeah. And that's around any public spaces, like shopping malls, shopping centres, police stations. Banks. Banks. Stuff like that. They have to take it off. That makes I mean, sense you can't even walk into a bank with your hat backwards. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Or sunglasses. I mean, I, mean, I used to be a motorcycle courier back in London. We weren't allowed to take... We, we weren't even allowed to keep our helmets on. If we, we have were, to get it off. We yes. have to... Yeah. Have to remove... We, we even had to remove sunglasses. Mm -hmm. You know? Plain and simple. Our face must be visibly seen. Because the buildings I was delivering packages to, there were armed guards outside. And they weren't holding w water pistols. Let me tell you that. Bazookas and shit. Uh, no, MP fives. <laughs> they were hold. They were holding M MP fives, MP sevens, MP nines. You know, they were holding M sixteens, Enfields. They were holding rifles that would put big fucking holes in you pretty fucking quick. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. You know, pretty yeah, pretty much. And they wouldn't give two fucks about it either. Um, and yet now, all of a sudden. Everyone's so afraid of uh, of hurting people's feelings and every fucking thing else and whatnot. And another thing everyone's going on about is the British Prime Minister. He's a tosser, but we'll get on to that. Yeah. <laughs> da is David Cameron, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, even his name sounds pedophile. Still? Yeah? Yeah, yeah. yeah. got voted back in. I don't know how. That's the one thing I, I, I have he, no... He was literally the best of a worst situation. And oh, that's not even me funny. You're kidding me. Oh, no. Because, um... You'd say the same thing Labour. here, too, after our last election. Oh, yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah, bad. Was it like, um... I was going to say, Labour... Don't want to go near them. They'll fuck up the economy. 
Um, we had like is- UKIP, full of racists, but there were a couple of good policies. Green Party, unrealistic. Conservatives might not fuck us over this time. They, it, please, please, please tell, please tell me that the Monster Looney Raving Party at least came close this year. I think they might have got something. Holy fucking shit! If they ever got a seat in the government, I'd laugh my ass off. Yes, there is actually a political party in England called the Monster Looning Raven Party. And all they care about is parties, parties, parties. That's it. They just want to party. If you've ever got... LSD for everyone! They, they oh, want that... Li- pizza? Is that it? They, they want it in their drink. They want it in the drinking water, dude. They, they, they want you to go into a place where you can order a sandwich, a cup of coffee, and a fucking joint. You know? That doesn't sound like a Colorado. Just saying. No, 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 no. They, they, they want England to make Colorado look l- like Utah. <laughs> it's got an awesome looking um logo as well. Mhm. I, I, I remember I actually voted for them once just to spite my ex girlfriend, just to stick it to her. I think yeah, they got seven out of how big that number is. Wow. Holy I shit. got something. <laughs> no, that that's impressive. Oh no, I was just, uh, yeah. votes three thousand eight hundred. So three thousand eight hundred people are, are hardcore ravers that care, care about political parties. <laughs> Fuck yeah! <laughs> <laughs> They're not real ravers at all. They've got time to dance. <laughs> dance, damn it! Stop putting that thing in a box. Dance. Where's your fucking whistle? Take his ass in. Take his ass in. Come yeah. on, join the party. Yeah. <laughs> I know, I know Simon Pegg, uh, the actor. I know uh-huh. he he's very out there politically wise. You know, I mean, he, just look at the guy. Look at the the career track of movies that he's made. I mean, <laughs> Shaun of Shaun the Dead. A- actually, Fuzz is one of the best movies. Ever actually, was. believe it or not, I remember when 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 he wasn't even a movie actor, he was a TV actor. Yeah, yeah. he was in um, Spaced, wasn't it? He, yes, oh, Spaced. Oh yeah, he was in Spaced. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah, he was the main bloody character. Yeah, yeah he I played asked. him, him... I only watched one episode, sorry. Spaced, oh, yeah. I absolutely loved it. He was the main character. The artist, the one with the goatee, he reminds me so much of my friend Clark, it's not even funny. Oh, that guy. Yes. <laughs> Sp- I, I, I want them to bring it back. I do. I want them to do like a, a one-off episode. Simon Pegg, all of them. I, 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 I would love to have all of them back. Hey, you know? Danny, I, like, I got one word to say for you for this instance. Hmm? Kickstarter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I would the same with what was his name? Um, IT Crowd. That should come back as well. Yep. Yeah, uh, Nick Frost. That's the guy's name. Nick Frost. Yeah. Uh, Nick Frost. Simon Pegg. Uh. I want to say Jessica Haynes, but I'm not sure if that's right. But uh, um, because I know she she also did uh, um. Other stuff. Uh, yeah, she did some other com- <laughs> comedy shit. No, no, she, stuff. no, no. She, she. I know she appeared in a couple of episodes of the Young Ones as well. Oh, Young Ones is good. Yep, Young Ones, uh, stuff like that. You know, I, I would really love to see them do, uh, like a, 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 a final fond farewell to Spaced. You know, like a proper. See, I, I was honestly expecting him to be in Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. He oh yeah. He should have played Arthur. Him yeah. and him and Nick Frost. You know, you can just see them together. I'm surprised that, that Simon Pegg hasn't been chosen to, p- to play the Doctor at one point. Nick Frost is what? Ford Prefect? Yeah. <laughs> no, I'd see more as Marvin. Oh, you know, God, that would have been perfect. Yeah. yeah. Or, yeah. Or, or, or better yet, I could, I could definitely see... I can definitely see Simon Pegg playing the Master in Doctor Who. That would be great. That would be. <laughs> he, I can he knows just see it. Crazy. Yep. And I like can, clever crazy. Yeah, I can just see it. You know, it, it's right there. That that would just be so awesome. But you know, I, I, personally, I think he would have made a better Arthur. Just saying. <laughs> oh yeah. Right. He could do both. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he could do both. Yeah. But again, you know, crossover. Yeah. King Arthur Dent. Or better yet, better yet. <laughs> Uh, Monty, you could see. This is another thing. I I remember the old Carry On films. Oh, all the Carry On's brilliant. Like Carry On Kyber, um, Carry yep. On Screaming, with other ones. 
I remember carry on on the buses. There was they did a carry on the bus, you know. That was a good one. I don't remember that one. That that was uh, uh, the last. No, it was carry on. Last one was the pirates one, wasn't it? Yeah. They oh did. God. They did carry on. They did carry on camping. Carry on matron. Yeah, carry on matron. Carry on doctor. Then there was. Oh fuck! There was the Frankenstein one they did. Carry on screaming. Yeah, carry on screaming. God, there were so many. I, 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 I want them all on like one great big freaking DVD collection. You know, because that I would just. A couple of them. Oh, dude, that Barbara Windsor in her heyday. Oh my god, I would have ploughed her till my dick fell off. I think she was probably doing that to a couple of gangsters, so that you probably would have had no gig. Yeah, probably. And and this segment of the stream brought to you by Chris Go. <laughs> <laughs> Molest fresh. Do, 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 do. It's like Carry On Film is always um, put across on the BBC and ITV every so often, which is nice. Oh. Yeah, we don't, I, don't get, I don't even get those. Oh the only thing God. I watch BBC for anymore is when they play Star Trek TNG. Mmm... Oh, they, they've got this new um, channel. Uh, um, I don't, I don't know what it's called at the moment. I think it's called like drama or um, scary, something like that. I can't remember. But it's doing all the Star Treks, every single Star Trek. Nice. It's Hopefully like not every movie series. number five. No, every series. Every hey, film, hey, every hey, hey, hey! Even if it's bad, you've still got to watch it. Well, like Spock's brain in the original. <laughs> oh wow! There was actually several carry-on movies that were filmed but never released. Really? Yes. Uh, what, uh, what a carry-on. Carry-on smoking. Carry-on flying. Carry-on spaceman. Carry-on again nurse. Carry-on escaping. Carry-on Dallas. And carry-on down under. To Pirate Bay! Away! No, 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 no. no. Released. They never got released because they never finished filming because some of the, the key actors died during filming. That's a slight problem. And this is before they could do magic shit like, uh, yeah. replace Paul. I Walker. mean, I mean. It was the 60s, wasn't it? Yeah, you're looking 1961 to 1981. <laughs> the, 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 this, it, it was, it's probably, uh, uh, at any one point, the largest. Uh, uh, se sequel movies ever made would be the carry-ons with probably some of the largest amount of comedy actors in, the f in any film oh yeah and, and oh, yeah. What the funny thing is I've never heard of them you dude I you I'm telling you slap. right now I'm telling you now Kenneth Williams air yes now air matron yeah. trust me if you've ever watched Red Dwarf I love Red Dwarf Rimmer like it, Rimmer is based on Kenneth Williams <laughs> okay okay just, just Google Kenneth Williams. You'll find, you'll probably find a YouTube video of him. You, the moment you hear Kenneth Williams speak, you go Rimmer, because, because, because he, he, he actually said when he first pictured Rimmer's character, when he first read the pilot script, he pictured Kenneth Williams, and he, and he even did the whole typical stiff upper lip that Kenneth Williams, his character, actually did. Eh, eh, eh. And ironically, wow, I didn't know that. Kenneth Williams was born in Islington and he died in Camden. Wow. Nice. That's awesome. Oh, yeah. No, I, I, I grew up near Islington and Camden. Ah, okay. So to me, that's like, oh, shit, he died in my backyard. Fuck. <laughs> you know what I mean? He's probably, he's, probably, he's probably buried with all the Stormtrooper action figures. Probably. And of course, then there's Joan Sims. Oh, my God, she was so fit back in the day. And she died in Chelsea. <laughs> Joan in Chelsea. Oh wow, she died of disfigular disease. Wow. Wow, she put it out a little bit. There you go. There's a Kenneth Williams clip for you. Carry on, matron. Okay, let me mute my mic and listen to this real quick. You can now talk all shit about him. Just because I muted my mic doesn't mean I can hear you. Well, you can't speak back, so it's the same thing. Err, oh, yes, of course. Perhaps I should come back some other time. Dr. Good. Dr. Good. 
Yes, you remember him that. Do forgive me, Sir Bernard. I was miles away. No, oh, yes, of course. Well, perhaps I should come back some other time. Arnold Rimmer. <laughs> <laughs> See? <laughs> You've even got a laugh down. <laughs> yep. That's... Oh my God! It's Rimmer. It is. See? <laughs> Shorts on spent. Stand by. Yep. Exactly. And, and, and I grew up watching these movies. You know, the, the, these were the movies I, I grew up watching. Charles Hathaway. Hawthway. He was actually rumored to replace uh, the second the second Doctor back in the day. That's when Nathaniel's were walking the earth. Mm-hmm. And then there's Terry Scott. Yeah. Terry Scott was fucking hilarious, that podgy round face bastard. <laughs> Bernard Breslau, he was pretty funny too. The podgy face bastard. Um, I mean, seriously, he was a tall motherfucker. Did you ever f realize that Bernard Breslau was like almost seven foot tall? Yeah, well, it's, if you yeah, if you never knew it, you just think, oh, he's a tall bloke. But then no, you see he him was. People. Yeah, oh. he was proper fucking tall. This was just a preamble, wasn't it? Yeah, we were a bit I'm off track, didn't we? Yeah, pretty much. But no, I'm I'm just saying, you know, it, it, it's those. Sort of, but like I said, this is the this is the politically incorrect podcast. It goes that way. I I grew up watching shows where men would pat women on the ass. That doesn't mean it's sexist. I mean, you can ask Michelle; she'll tell you. I hope I open up doors for her. I hold out chairs for her. You know. Yes, you, you smack do. on the ass. And and I do. I I do. She walks by me. I give her a tap on the ass and tell her I love her. She gives you a tap on the face. Actually, no, she doesn't. She kisses me on the forehead. <laughs> Screw the tap. I, I get a whole handful of that. You know, just yeah. with Nicole's walking with me. Just but do you see what I'm saying? I, I and again, th this is going on the feminism. I, I I'm going to point this out. Okay. You mean the neutering of men? No, 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 no. It's not the neutering of men. It's the blatant, blatant, blatant public disregard of the lack of intelligence in women. You know the old saying, right? You know, oh, I, I, you know, what's the one thing a white guy can say that a black guy, a black guy can't? Which is, thank you, Mister Officer, for stopping me. And hello, Dad, how have you been? <laughs> you know. Oh, God. Wow. Yet, yeah, same thing can be said about women. Okay, why is it every YouTuber that gets over a hundred thousand followers all of a sudden becomes, a, especially if they're women, become a feminist? I'm looking at you, Lacey Green. I'm looking at... Fuck, oh, my God. I hate Lacey oh, Green. Oh, what was that one chick we were... <laughs> Tara Babcock. Yes! Tara Babcock, the failed porn actress, who... Ble who, 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 who porn perceives actress with the last name of Babcock. Okay. That's her actual... How did she fail? That's her... <laughs> Seriously. That is like you have. I think she blew. Platter, I think she blew out. It all away. I think she blew out. It uh, sounds to me like she babbed around about the cock too much. Actually, no. I I know how she failed. She failed on a medical reason because she has hepatitis. You fucked up there. Babe. That and she blew out. That and she blew out her sphincter. Doing an anal scene, she blew out her sphincter. What a shitty job. <laughs> oh. Yep, exactly. <laughs> what a shitty job. It's okay, it's okay. I was thinking of something and I could not think of anything and you just summed it up perfectly. <laughs> what a shitty job. Yep. What a shitty job. She fucked up being she fucked up being a porn actress because she got caught she failed because yeah in 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 the porn industry you have to get tested before and after every shoot. Oh yeah. Okay? And and she failed before she even got to her first shoot. Oh, damn. She, they said, oh, I'm sorry, you, you, you appear to have, you know, become positive for hep C. She goes, that's not possible. You know, I, I don't have hepatitis C. All right. Oh, oh, then why is it every time she tried to pull down her knickers, it sounded like Velcro? Oh, oh, God. Yeah. Just a few more inches. Yep. Oh. Uh. What is that smell? It smells like rotten eggs. Yeah, oh, it was just Tara Babcock. She was in here. God damn it! <sighs> yeah, but no, I'm serious. She, she's a failed porn actress, and what does me in is she tries to give sexual advice to thirteen-year-olds. Oh, jeez. 
literally she knows she she knows she absolutely knows without a shadow of a fucking doubt that her followers are under the age of consent because she she's actually said it in her videos unless she's, you're in west virginia she's actually she's actually looked at her channel analytics and it's even told her 13 year old boys under you know under the age you know under the age of 15 it's 10 to 15 so she Jeez. knows that the ballpark is uh, right on the edge of discovering whacking. Yeah, and I'm like, well, maybe it's because in every thumbnail for your videos, either your tartars are barely hanging out, or your or your Hep C infested crack is hanging out. Oh, oh you think? Just say no to crack. Yeah. Oh. I mean, just seriously, just crack. just just Google Tara Babcock, okay, and you literally find images of her, okay. Where she's tried to look like Barbie. I shit you not. The eyes, yeah. the lips, everything. And again, she, she... looks like her lips have got Botox in. Her seriously. Like she's got so much silicone. You can oh, no, 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 no. Keep, keep in mind, when, when she blew out her sphincter, it had to go somewhere. Oh. No one knew she was a kiss ass. But, well. yep. oh. I mean, seriously. She is one used up raggedy freaking cunt. <laughs> Literally. I'm serious. She's a failed fucking porn actress. Used Look up, her up in the dictionary. Down, sideways. Right next to the picture for crack whore. One of those. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> like I said, she's not only used up, she's used up, used down, used sideways. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh and look, here's a screen cap of her actual freaking video. Because she tried to make it look like it was one of those, uh, 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 fucking She's a... backroom couch things. Oh, the, um, couch. Yeah. What they called. Interview porn things. That's it. That's her interview picture with her tartars hanging out from the actual video. Are, are they even in? Oh, God. She looks like, oh. And she's trying to claim that she's never done a porno. Really? Then how come really? you can actually find that, that exact video on RedTube? And it even says, warning, this is grossly disturbing. Because it looks like her cooch got hammered with a fucking ugly bat. Oh. I mean, seriously, you, you take you take a fucking uh, uh, a meerkat and run it over with a tank. <laughs> Bo bones and all, that's what her lips look like. Oh my god. I mean, it looked like a fucking train wreck. <laughs> Brings a whole new feeling to Meerkat Manor on the Animal Planet. I'm telling you. Oh, oh yeah. Now. Oh yeah. Trust me. <laughs> let, let, let me let me put it let me put it to you like this, okay? Tara Babcock is like a used car. Okay? She looks fine as motherfuck sitting on that dealership. But the moment you open up that door and you take a whiff and it's like, what the fuck died in here? That's her opened her legs. Oh. There is wow. no used cunt smell. Trust me. There's no new cunt smell. There is no <laughs> new cunt smell. There's yeah, just t shirt. There's just used <laughs> cunt smell. Her and crime is against the Geneva Convention. Trust me. <laughs> Chemical weapons are not allowed. Put, to put it like this, put it like this, put it like this. When Saddam Hussein got a whiff of her crotch, he <laughs> grabbed every pair of her knickers and dumped them on the curds. <laughs> And then went and hid in the dirt hole. Fucking A. <laughs> that was his weapons of mass crutchism. Her knickers. Her fucking knickers. And you know what's even bad? Even on her actual website, she will sell you a pair of her used panties. Ugh. Why? I swear to God. I swear to God. Once I saw her take them off, put them on a table, and they moved by themselves. <laughs> You can't even use that shit for like cockroach extermination, because no. The, the, <laughs> no, no, because I, I, I think the fanny lice would eat the fucking cockroaches, Pretty like much. piranha. I'm fucking <laughs> serious. I'm fucking serious. She is one nasty fucking cunt. She is just in both words. Yes, <laughs> in, in both oh, words my. and in both ways. You know what they say, right? Take a penny, put it near her clit. If she screams, run away. No, no, no. Her fanny would take the penny in your fingers at the same time and swallow oh, that. Oh my swallow God. that shit and tell you. Pull back nubs. Yeah, yeah. Pull it. Pull back nubs and she'll turn around and tell you you're still twenty four cents short. You're still twenty four cents short of a fucking can of coke. 
Uh, uh, shall I get you go? Well. Finger licking good. No, 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 no. Why? It's more like finger missing good. <laughs> finger missing. Good. Swear to God, I swear to God. One day, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna find a picture of her, and I'm gonna turn it into an animated gif. We're just gonna see piranha teeth coming out of her crotch. <laughs> Oh my god! It's like one of those vending machines you put a coin in and it never comes out. Fuck it, exactly! <laughs> Next thing exactly. you know, it'll be on River Monsters. Well, oh. <laughs> probably! <laughs> probably! Episode 35. Oh! It's rumoured that this. It's rumoured that I this monster. It. It's rumoured that. <laughs> a big one, alright. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna have to get the big reel out for this fish one. On, fish on! Fish on! Fish on! <laughs> Pulls it out, it's Tara Babcock. Fuck! Throw it away! Throw it away! Fuck! You know, you know it's so bad, they threw her in the ocean. Put it in the cooler! Put it in the cooler! <laughs> now, now you know how they get all that cool action for Shark Week. They throw her in the ocean, the sharks jump out. <laughs> 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 Running away. <laughs> They run away and they jump into the fucking sea world. There's the fucking she moon. It's like, get the fuck out! Find <laughs> me! Jump on my back! Make me do tricks! Fuck! Just don't put me back in that water! <laughs> Not with her! Anyone but her! Fuck! I'll, go I'll hang out with Casey But just not her! That's the bitch I'm fucking with. <laughs> <laughs> Casey Tron! Oh my god! <laughs> I'll hang out with Casey Just not her! Please! <laughs> but no, I'm, I'm serious. D d d shit, has, shit has got to be done about people like her and fucking Casey Tron. Yeah, it's not appropriate to do that when there's like young children around. No, not at all. Just, no. You yeah. shouldn't do that. It, it's After we had, if they did it in person, they'd be in jail. How is it yeah. any different? Here, 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 here's a shocker for you. This is one of the pictures that Casey Tron sent someone who donated her a thousand dollars. For God's sake, I don't want to. Um, I, I have to. Look. Click it. <laughs> click it. Click it. It's like it, a it car accident. Click it. Oh. Click it. You'll like it. Wait, Those... that's just terrible. Oh my God! Yeah, that... Fuck you, Tron! Won't even touch that. <laughs> what the? Oh. That is actually Casey Tron. <laughs> it looks like a blow-up doll made to like. 3D animation. And if you click on the Sky Williams picture under there, that's him mocking her. <laughs> I I watch Sky Williams. He's such a cool League of Legends player. He's gay as fuck, and he even talks about sucking dick all the time when he's playing League of Legends. But he even mocks her oh for this God. shit. He even mocks her for this shit. And that's why she's moving over to Hitbox. Like, like I said, all I can think of when I look at that picture... What? It's all I can think of when I look at that picture is that African dude from from next Friday. I can't get jiggy to this shit. <laughs> exactly. But no, I'm I'm serious. I I I'm I'm fucking serious, man. This is how bad it's gotten for not only girl gamers, but for just gamers in general. Because I don't have tartars like that. <sighs> I don't think people. Bees. I, I, I. <laughs> fuck off! It's A's at a stretch, you bastard. <laughs> Come on. I work. I lift, bro. I was complimenting you. I lift. Fuck yeah, he's you. Work, he's working up towards that push-up, bro. Yeah, you're Come damn on. right I am. I lift, motherfucker. I lift. <laughs> but now I'm. I'm up and down. Uh, do you even lift, bro? <laughs> yeah. Do, do you even lift? Actually, yes. I lift the pizza slice up to my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> But no, I'm serious. It, it it's it's proper fucking dirty little skanky ass cunts like her and Tara Babcock that is just making life fucking insane. Absolutely, mm -hmm. truly insane. The fact that fucking Brazier and and you porn and fucking Pornhub are sponsors of her channel. Oh God! And she has links to their sites on. Well, she used to until her channel got brought down. Actually, on. She had them on her Twitch page, where knowingly thirteen-year-old boys could click on it. Oh yeah, there's no age barrier on uh, Twitch, is there? Nope. Uh, um, I I have a mature yeah. thing yeah, on mine. Warning, at least. Yeah. Yeah. But she doesn't. They Not don't. on her channel. They don't. That's wrong. That's definitely wrong. Because on the websites, you have to say, "Oh, I am eighteen or plus, whatever." Yeah. Exactly. Whereas when you click it direct from that link, I bet you you don't get that. No, you don't. It takes it right to, to her, her selection of what porn she likes to watch, which is usually two chicks. Whales. Whales. 
Oh, no, she, 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 because uh, 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 there's a guy on YouTube. Let me find his channel name. I think it's called Way or something like that, where he constantly thinks she's a cunt. Hang on. <laughs> Casey Tron. What is it? What is it? Not K. It, yeah, it's Way. W A A A A A A A Y. Well, anyway, Casey Tron is a dumb bitch compilation videos he's done. He clicked. He clicked on one of those. Dumb bitch. He clicked on one of those links, and it took him to a a a, a porn page where it was nothing but either two chicks and a black dude, or two chicks going at it, or or she even had a link to two girls one cup. Oh God. Oh, okay. No. no. Yeah. Yeah, I'm fucking serious, guys. Two girls, one cup. Do not Google that oh, shit. She, no. yeah, do not. She, well, everyone has at one point, though. And you it, can't say you haven't. And oh, I'm, I, I can't I say that I haven't. It, I you will. And, and, you will and, I, 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 you know, I didn't Google it myself either. I, I didn't see it as a link. And just Good. for shits and giggles, she even had a thing up to, to troll people called Blue Waffles. Oh. Yep. And yeah, I'm Casey Train on that. All, all, everything. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. And, and she has the balls to call herself a professional girl gamer. No. 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 She's a whore who couldn't make. She's Bronze Three. Fan base off of pretending to be a gamer. She's she's Bronze Three. I made it to Bronze One in my first fucking league game. And she's Bronze 3. And I've never... I don't play League of Legends that often. I play it very rarely when my friend Kilo Nee uh, messages me on Skype and he's bored. And I'm like, dude, I'm at work, I'm bored. Can we play some, some League? I'm like, yeah, sure. So I'll jump in and play and, and hang out with him, you know? He, he plays uh, Captain Teemo. I play Misfortune. I like Misfortune simply because I've got the gangster purple suit outfit. She's got big old titties, mini skirt, two fucking submachine guns. I don't care. I'll fat to that. I will, fap to th- I will fap to that speaking if they made a fucking... Yeah. Yes. yeah, speaking of feminists, I'm about yeah. to say, mm. um, I bet you they get all of their um, tits because um, she um, is in a miniskirt and running around has been objectified. Yep. No, it, no, she isn't. She's a strong woman because she's going to beat the shit out of everyone else. Mm-hmm. She's not being objectified then. Yeah, and the whole object, object, subject dichotomy shit they keep talking about in video games. Okay, so you really want game developers... To make such a detailed background about a hooker that is sucking your dick in the back of a car outside of Wendy's. Seriously, that's what you want. You want that to be what you quote unquote game equality. That's what you want. Okay, then I I, I, I don't see any feminist at all anywhere protesting Magic Mike. Nope. Oh, nope. That was fucking hot though. Oh, jeez. Four oh, Fifty Shades of Grey. <laughs> yeah. The mom, the mom porn? No, they could have that all they want. Yeah. yeah. They ate that Fifty Shades of Grey shit up like fucking candy. Even though the person who did it did not know anything about BDSM or any of that stuff. Exactly. So Complete so much wrong with it. Yeah. But, disgusting. But you see my point? They're, they're double standard horse shit. And most importantly, if you ask any feminist, why are they a feminist? They'll tell you. Because men make more money than women in a job. Because, uh, uh, what is it, jobs? Because we make, men make more laws than women. Okay, so Hillary Clinton isn't a senator. Yes. And she's helping pass laws on women. Yes. Yes. So you're against US government then? No. Uh, yeah. Be- because, you see what I'm saying? They try to nitpick and, and pick and choose specific things and it doesn't fucking work. They have double standards. Oh, you know, there exactly. Was, there was a, actually a serious study done on the so, supposed wage disparity, and they figured out it actually mostly came down to women wouldn't actually negotiate for a higher salary when they came in where men would. Yep. That, and, that, and, 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 and if it really was a policy to pay women more, every business would have nothing but women employees because they could save billions of dollars a year. By just hiring women, if they could pay them less, and 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 I can actually tell you one business that actually pays their women more than men that actually absolutely destroys every feminist argument because Hooters. they they hate yes Hooters, Hooters pays pays the 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 the, the waitresses more than the managers. Oh yeah. 
Yeah, they bring in the customers, and they know that the Sex whole restaurant sells. thing. Exactly, and, and and now they're now they're protesting booth babes at, at Comic Con at, at, at conventions like E three packs stuff like that. I'm like, okay, so let, let let's see. So you just want mannequins, a, 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 and and it, and this is the funny thing. They're now saying that places like Victoria's Secret should have plus size mannequins. I'm like, why? If you have a plus size mannequin and you put a fucking size zero bra on that fucking thing and that strap goes, that thing's gonna whap someone in the eye like a take someone's fucking head off. I, I, and, and no, exactly. And here's uh, the thing that they don't get, like you know, that like they do have that same kind of thing. For plus size women, like yeah. forehead and stuff like that. It's called Big and Tall, right? Or they, <laughs> there's a shop specifically called Torrid, yeah, that tailors just to women of a larger size. Yes, same exactly. You can go to Big and Tall, Torrid. There's so many other places, but they just want to single out Victoria's Secret because of the Victoria's Secret catalog. We're Nothing all the negatives, not any of the positives. Exactly, and they keep talking it doesn't about fit their agenda. See, and this is another thing. This is another thing I find absolutely fucking hilarious, which is they keep talking about the Middle East. You're not fucking there. Don't talk about it, you stupid. Exactly! <laughs> I'm like, move there, live there, then bitch! Otherwise, 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 shut the fuck up! Because <laughs> you're just a, like a whiny 80-year-old woman who's looking at a microwave thinking it's a fucking TV. Yes, that is a reference to my grandmother. <laughs> I remember that. Is that story. like the slat out cup holder on computers? Yes, that that's Those hilarious. Those are really useful, though. Yes, they are. Until you try to put a Blu-ray in there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I'm serious. My grandmother, I love you, Grandma Monahan, but she was so dense. My dad bought her a brand new microwave and a brand new TV. Okay, I go to check on my grandmother because my grandfather was in the hospital. And she's sitting in the kitchen, yelling at the microwave, <laughs> screaming at it, obscenities. And I'm like, Nan, are you okay? And she goes, yeah, I can't get this fucking TV to tune in. And she's standing there with tinfoil on top of the microwave, wiggling it around like an antenna, playing with the fucking the, 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 turn, the timer knob and pressing buttons. And the microwave's going on, turning off, going on, turning off. Microwave's looking, I swear to God, if it had a face, it'd look at me with help. You know, <laughs> and I'm thinking, and, 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 and I'm like, man, that's the microwave. No, it's not. It's the fucking TV. And I'm like, okay, where's the tape? Where, uh, uh, where's the microwave then, Nan? She takes me into the living room. No, this is in the kitchen. She takes me into the living room where I see a a a twenty eight pound turkey wrapped in tin foil sitting on top of the TV. <laughs> <laughs> and I and I look at it and I'm like. Well, the turkey's almost done. <laughs> and my nan's like, really? And she walks up and she touches it and she goes, is it okay to touch it while it's still on? I'm like, yes, nan. It, it, it is. My uncle, I love you, Uncle Graham, comes in and looks at me and goes, what the fuck's going on? Why is there a turkey on top of the telly? I'm like, ask your mum. And he's like, mum, why is there a turkey on top of the telly? It's not, it's the microwave. My Uncle Graham sat there for like four hours trying to explain to my nan that the microwave is in the kitchen and the TV's in the living room and there's a turkey on top of the TV in the living room that's apparently tried to cook. And didn't you end up like ripping the cord of the microwave out of the wall? <laughs> yes, because my nan just didn't believe us. And so she decided to say, fuck it, all right. So she turns the microwave around, finds two screws... Undoes the screws on the back of the microwave and screws the tin foil to the microwave. Turns the microwave around, presses the power button, and I literally start seeing it arc. Like a fucking mad scientist. I run and I pull the plug right out the wall. Literally, not out the socket. I pulled the socket as well out the wall to try and pull this fucking power cord out. And my nan looks at me and goes, and smacks me upside the head and she goes why the fuck did you do that because you're about to kill yourself <laughs> that or you're going to turn into the incredible hulk just because she had a jacob's ladder running in the kitchen come on pretty much 
And it comes yeah, to the point it, it, turkey. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Grandma hungry. Oh fuck, run. <laughs> and, uh, I'm sorry. She's my like, dad's like t- uh, Tony Stark fighting the Hulk in, the, in Avengers yep. 2. Yep, gotta sleep, 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 gotta sleep. Yeah. Sorry. I, li- I, I like the bit where in, in the Avengers where he's using the manic fist and punching Hulk in the head going, gotta sleep, 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 gotta sleep. And he spits the tooth out and it's like, I'm sorry. Where <laughs> punches you through a building? <laughs> if I don't know, just gotta sleep, 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 gotta sleep. And, and, and then the whole thing about the Captain of Captain America uh, bitching because somebody cursed or something. Yeah. Oh <laughs> hell, language. <laughs> <laughs> I actually had that as a t-shirt design. It's Captain America pointing at you with, like, fireworks going off, and it just says language. Language! <laughs> <laughs> but, um, no, it, 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 and my dad came home, saw a great big handprint on my face. I was thinking I was, like, nine at the time. And my Uncle Graham is still holding this turkey, trying to explain to my nan that that's a TV, not a microwave. And so my nan... Absolutely would not. My dad looks at me and goes, "Why do you have a handprint on your face?" I'm like, "Because I tried to save Nan's life." And he goes, "What?" And I showed him the microwave, and he turned white. Because I mean, there was scorch marks everywhere. She was literally on the verge of blowing up this microwave and herself. Goes into the living room and kicks the front of the TV, shattering the glass and everything else. Grabs a fucking turkey, stuffs it into the TV. Looks at mum. Looks at his mum, my nan, and goes, "There, are you fucking happy? You got the goddamn turkey in the fucking TV." And walks off. Takes my hand, turns around, looks at my nan, and goes, "Don't, don't you ever fucking lay a hand on my boy again." And he looks at me and goes, "Want KFC?" And I'm like, "Sure." <laughs> so he takes me to KFC. That's the only thing you remembered. I got KFC today. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm like, I got KFC today. Yum. <laughs> After that, my nan never did quite feel right after that, you know. Especially the fact that she had to have half her kitchen remodelled because she almost set fire to it. <laughs> but my dad bought her another TV. KFC, Casey Tron, Brian Cooch. Ugh, no. <laughs> oh, you hope No. Hey, I've been trying to think of witty shit to say this entire time. But Don't no, at, 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 at the end of the day, guys, though, the one thing I've got I've, I've got to say is simply this. And it, it, it's something that, that I, I'm pretty sure my wife's going to want to chime in on here about. And that is simply this, which is sexual equality. Plain and simple. Now you're thinking, what the hell is sexual equality? Sexual equality. Oh, e- no, no, no. Sexual <laughs> equality. Sexual se- No. S- s- Sexual equality, honey, I'm echoing off of you. Sexual equality is simply this. Why is it every time when you're, you know, you're married or you're dating a girl or whatever, and you're horny as fuck, she's not interested. But when she's horny as fuck, you better be interested or you're cheating on her. Or you're sleeping on the couch for six months. Yeah. Or, or worse, it's like, okay, she knows it's your birthday, so you expect something special on your birthday sort of thing. You know, like... How's your father? Or something like that, you know. Maybe an extra hand shandy. She goes and bangs your father. So yeah, exactly. That's a disappointment. And you get nothing because she forgot and it's 4am in the morning. And she's been up all night playing World of Warcraft. Is this a hint at something? This yeah. sounds very specific. This sounds very specific. This yeah. is very specific. Exactly. <laughs> and, and yet when it's her birthday... She wants oh roses, God. chocolates, perfume, and everything under the fucking sun. You know? Just to have ladies and gentlemen. I, 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 I want to I, I know. <laughs> when, I, w- I would like to know one simple thing. When is it fair for a man to simply look at his spouse or his significant other, whatever you want to call it, and just say, head please, <laughs> or, or, or I'm going for the brown eye tonight. <laughs> you know? Stuff like that. When, when, when is that the appropriate language? How many? How many years or how many dates do you think? Uh, never. Never. <laughs> never. Yeah. See, that's the difference between me and you guys. I, I, flat out, when I want common some common decency. Fuck common decency. <laughs> when, I when, daughters, I never want them to hear that. When I, when I specifically want something, I'm gonna flat out say, look, 
It's been six weeks. You keep teasing me. You keep using that weird tongue thing on my nose and everything else. And I tell you exactly what it does to me. And you do this little Benny Rubble giggle. Hee <laughs> hee shit. Give me head or I'm going. <laughs> Plain and simple. That's it. There, shit's there. That's how many pieces of corn are in his shit. You know? And, and, and lo and fucking behold, you either get head or you find someone to give you head. That's how it works. You know? Or you learn to be double jointed. Exactly. <laughs> Just like Prince and Michael Jackson. <laughs> Subway. <laughs> Molest fresh. Do, 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 do. <laughs> But no, I'm serious. It, 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 it's see, this is this is another <laughs> thing. Exactly. Now, now this is another thing. Why is it a man cannot look for for sex toys with without other people thinking it's weird? That's just like it, it, it's actually a legitimate point because I mean, if you think about it, there are more women than you can probably even think to count on this planet that own a vibrator but, and that's yet that's acceptable mm -hmm. or five or, or yeah or five or ten or fifteen <laughs> or more than you can count on your fingers and toes yep or, right but you know for a guy it's not okay that just yeah, guys just perverted or sick or something else. Yeah, and and but yet we, we gotta have some form of release when you don't want to fucking do it. <laughs> but yet, no, no. The, the point I'm trying to make is, is simply this. Okay, yesterday a friend of mine went. He, he, his mum went to a a bachelorette party mm. where they were talking, you know, sh showing each other dildos and sex toys and all sort of thing. They were getting a good old chuckle out of it. I said to her. So why is it, is it, why is it okay for you to look at it, but it's not okay for your boyfriend, husband, significant other to, to, to look at them? Well, and, and all of a sudden, it's a double standard thing. You start to see the double standard again. Me? I'm not going to lie. I've looked at marital aids. There are just times when I'm so fucking tired, I couldn't get it up even if I wanted to. Okay. But I don't want my I, I don't want my part my, my wife to, to, to go without, you know. She has physical needs as much as I do. And so I looked. I'm like, what do you think of this one? My wife will look at me with this look of, oh my god, it comes in that size. <laughs> yeah. Speaking what is that modelled on? That's modelled on a horse. Yeah, and, and stuff like that. You know, and, and again, you know, I. I'm, I mean, I'm one of these people that don't shy away from anything. Most people are like, oh, yeah, yeah, ask him a question that'll put him on edge. There is no question you can ask me that could ever put me on edge. I'm serious. Yep. It, it's like last night, me and my wife were talking, and I said to her, what's the difference between love and hate? And she sat there for like four hours, proper thinking, what is the actual difference between love and hate? And she goes, I don't know. And I goes, exactly, there isn't a difference between love and hate. They're the I'm same thinking fuck. obsessively of the same thing. It's just it's flip side of the same coin. Exactly. Right. They're the same fucking thing. Yin and yang in its finest ex Exactly. Example. And then it's like, well, well, well how, how is it the same thing? I'm like, plain and simple. This is how it's the same thing. How many times have you said to someone, God, I love to hate that person? <laughs> it's the exact same fucking thing. <laughs> When With, without hate, hate, love would not exist. Exactly, hate makes you do dumb shit. Love makes you do dumb shit. Love makes you do extremely dumb shit. Mm. So does hate. So does hate. Think about it. The the levels of shit you will go to to fuck someone over because you hate them is the exact same levels you, you would go to just to get fight. pussy. Yeah, you obsess over them either way, either exactly or destructively exactly yeah. love and hate is the exact same thing i actually sent my home economics teacher insane with that question i'm serious i but was it's not hard to do they i was get very confused exactly I was, <laughs> I was in second i was in secondary school i was sitting in, it, it, it was on a wednesday i was sitting in the classroom and i was doing my homework and the teacher's like why why aren't i baking a cake and i'm like that's a woman's job <laughs> and he goes she, she she was like excuse me I goes that's a woman's job a woman's job is to make a cake no it's not you're gonna have to one, one day your life's gonna depend on what me making a fucking cake 
a guy's gonna kick in my front door, shove a gun up my nose and says, BITCH, MAKE ME A THREE LAYERED FLOOR TEA CAKE! Really? Fucking really? And she, uh, and she was, she's going on, on about it. And, and all these other people in my classroom were like, yeah, really, it really is kind of like a girl's work. And I'm like, exactly. I didn't say it was just a woman's work. I said it was girl's work. It's a girly job. You want to be a cake maker? You're either a beef squasher or you're a fucking woman. Plain and simple. It's what a girl. Yeah. Well, or you just really like cake. Or, or your power hands. Or you really, really, really are a splodger. And a splodger is a person who's sexually aroused by food. <laughs> I am none of those fucking things. I did my homework. This teacher was probably... No, I just liked him to cook shit. ...was proper getting on me. I looked at her and says, Okay, riddle me this then, Batman. What's the difference between love and hate? And I sat there, and I, by the time I finished my homework... Now, my home economics class was for three fucking hours. Oh, God. Fucking hours! Suck. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and my teacher... Like she did... 45 minutes. She didn't yeah, say... I mean, that was they intolerable. They don't get the concept of short time. Exactly. And and the crazy fucking thing is, she didn't say a word to me. Not a fucking word for that three hours after I asked her that question. Next week, I'm in there. She's not there. We've got a substitute teacher. I'm like, well, where's Miss Collins? Oh, she's out sick th this week. Oh, okay. Next week. No, still no Miss Collins. I'm like, where's Miss Collins? Teacher's like, don't know, she just called in sick. Oh, okay. Third week, I'm like, okay, where the fuck is Miss Collins? Oh, she, she checked herself into a mental hospital. Why? She couldn't come up with an answer to a question. I'm like, what question? What's the difference between love and hate? I'm like, yes! Score! <laughs> don't fucking argue with my logic. <laughs> and I sat back down and what did I do? My fucking homework. What did the teacher do? The teacher looked at me, and the girl sitting next to me, I even remember her name, Sarah Sharp. I love you, Sarah. Sarah Sharp. Not Sarah Sharp that lives here in town, a different Sarah Sharp. She looked at me, and she goes, she looks at the teacher and goes, don't disturb him. Just let him do his homework, or you'll be the next one in Maudsley Mental Hospital. <laughs> and I'm sitting there, I did my homework, and I looked at her and said, thank you, Sarah. Would you like help making your cake? And she goes, no, thank you. Cakes are for girls. Yep. Can I raise a question then on the same <laughs> ethics? Go for it. Uh oh. All right. You have the whole thing. I mean, you've got the the whole problem with society and the baby daddies and everything else right mm -hmm. now. Yeah. Where you and then you get the gold digger syndrome, which we've heard about. Where mm -hmm. it's like, oh, well, he, he's the father of the kid. Oh, you're 18. Okay. Guess what? That wasn't your kid, and you just paid me all this time. Yeah. If you're a couple, she gets pregnant and doesn't want the baby, she can get rid of it, and you have absolutely no say about it. In most cases, However, yes. Yeah. In well, most of the U.S. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you're a couple, she can get an abortion, it's and you have no recourse. The Western world. Now, mm -hmm. if she gets pregnant, you don't want it, but she wants it. Mm -hmm. Then you're financially responsible. But, meaning, okay, yes, you should take responsibility for if you have a kid. However, how does she have the power to remove your ability to be a parent legally, yet can stick you with the same responsibility if you are not willing to accept it? Now, I, I, can, I can give you the, the legal answer, or I can give you a common answer. What would you want? I'd rather have the real answer. The, the legal the legal answer. It's called cuntish go fuck us. Basically, it means she's got the cunt, you are now fucked. Yes. This is why it's easier just to be gay and fuck a guy in the ass. Worst case scenario, you've got AIDS, there's medication you can take for that. <coughs> Fucking a woman in the ass, again, what are you going to do? Nothing. She ain't going to get pregnant, you're going to have fun. But at the end of the day, no, I'm serious. They might as well call the law cuntish go fuck us. Because quite literally, if there's a spousal abuse call, the cops will arrest the man, even if he's the victim. Automatically, even if he's the victim. Because it is assumed that he is the one that initiated it and or is the perpetrator. It's the same way with custody in a, in a male oh, yeah. versus a female. Females oh, always got more clout. The more responsible parent, yes. It, exactly. So I like to call it legally cuntish go fuck us, which literally means they've got the cunt, you've been fucked over. Morally, it is wrong. Okay? Because now, I don't hide anything, I don't show anything. Me and Michelle, we've had our fair arguments. My wife suffers from blackouts. 
she takes medication for it. In one of her attacks, she bit my arm like she was a fucking zombie in The Walking Dead. Mm. Cops got called. Cops took pictures of the bite wounds on my arm. No defensive wounds on her. No attackive wo wounds on me. But the cops told me to leave. And yet, I am my wife's medical caregiver. I'm the one that reminds her when it's time to take her medication. I'm, I'm, I'm legally responsible for her. If she hurts herself and she dies, it's manslaughter charges on me. That's the legal r responsibility a person takes when you become a medical caregiver of another yep. person. You have the medical power of attorney. You are exactly. legally responsible. Yep. Exactly. Yep. And I pointed that out to the sheriff. My wife even turned around and said, no, he didn't do anything. I blacked out. He stopped me from hurting myself. And I bit him. I'm the one to blame. Yet, yeah, she got charged for the assault immediately. She got the, the, the paper ticket. But I'm the one that had to go into court. I'm the one that had to get a lawyer. And I'm the one that had to pay a $3,000 fine. And get for nothing. For nothing, get 90 days probation. And go to anger management classes. Yeah, yeah I didn't do a fucking me, thing! That would cause me to need anger management. Yeah! Oh, yeah. yeah. And yet, I didn't do a fucking thing. No anger management for her. No fine for her. No probation for her. It's immediately assumed that because you have a penis, you are the one that's at fault. Even, now, this is another fucked up thing. I even got arrested a second time, okay, by stopping two complete strange women from getting into a fight outside a pub. They were arguing over some stupid butt ugly bloke who belonged on fucking... Not even Jerry Springer, you know. I mean, this guy literally looked Life like Peter, and yeah, he looked like he belonged. He, he was goofy and goofy and fucking Donald Duck's love child. If he K had a K fed, totally K fed. <laughs> if that motherfucker had a coke problem, Colombia would be the richest country in the world. Okay, and he was a horse tooth looking choppy prick. And I don't know why these two fine women were fighting over him. I got in between, and I'm like, ladies, ladies. Is he really worth it? Look at yes, him. Smack. Look at him. Seriously, look at him and please tell me you do not see Mr. Ned's love chart. <laughs> they both laughed and slapped me in the face. Repeatedly. Till the police showed up and I got arrested. And I'm like, I don't even know these two crazy bitches. They just started smacking me. So why am I in handcuffs? And the police officer's like, well, we came to, to respond to a domestic. Yes, they're the domestic! And they were fighting in front of the police officer. Hair, nails, scratching, slapping, fucking... Oh, my God, cunt kicks. Jesus Christ, the cunt kicks. Oh. And I mean, even the female police officer got kicked in the crotch, and somehow I got blamed for it. I'm in the back of a fucking police car, and I got blamed for it. Even the lawyers, my barrister at the time, was laughing this out of the court. Judges like, how did this man assault the poli female police officer if he was in handcuffs in the back of the car? <laughs> and the, 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 the DA was like, we have no clue. We're just looking at the police officer's notes. Of a police officer who's now on holiday. Mm. And is supposed to be there. Mm -hmm. And so they made his notes inadmissible in court. Made him... His eyewitness stance, admissible in court. And even the female police officer, when she was asked to point out her assailant, didn't even point to me. Pointed to one of the women, probably. She, she pointed to one of the witnesses. <laughs> one of them. And I'm like, see? This is ridiculous. Just let me go. And no, 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 they would not let me go. I'm like, what are you going to charge me with? Being in the wrong place at the wrong time. That's your crime. They tried public intox intoxication when I'm... I, I, at that point, yes, I was a recovering alcoholic. And I just left the pub. I didn't have a single drop of alcohol in me. Not a single drop. I actually went there to cover a friend's shift. I was they a, didn't, they uh, didn't breathalyze you and you didn't blood test you. They have no evidence. Exactly. Pretty much. Yeah. Bar barrister threw that out. They came up with 17 separate charges and the, my barrister knocked them all out the park. Eventually the judge looked at the DA and said, just drop this before he sues you and I will side with him. Yeah. And he goes, and I will side with him. 
And it, the DA's like, fine. So he let drops all the charges on me, looks at those two women, and they're now both, I think, still serving time in jail. Because he was... This DA wanted someone's pound of flesh, and he wanted mine, and it had fuck all to do with me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah you're talking about the guy's always, always wrong. Yeah, a buddy of mine who sadly died a couple of months ago from a heart condition, his ex-wife, he found out she was cheating on him, he told her he was going to get a divorce. She literally attacked herself with a knife, mm -hmm. called the cops, and had him arrested for trying to kill her. Oh, yeah. First and they, they grabbed the knife, and they're like, there's not a print of his on here. Yeah. If supposedly, you know, he was doing this, there'd be hand, you know, he'd have his fingerprints all over the knife. She would have defensive wounds on her forearms where the stabbing would have occurred. So, so Nothing. He, yeah, he would have offensive wounds where he mishandled yep. the knife and cut himself. And yeah. Yep, 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 yep. They, they didn't have a thing on him, but yet the court sided with her and like made, threw him in jail for like six weeks or something like mm -hmm. that and then put a restraining order on him. Yep. And she, yeah, she just, she told him when you know, when they were starting to have a bad relationship, if something goes wrong and you, you try to divorce me, I will fuck you over. And she did. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I've had my ex-girlfriend. My ex-girlfriend stabbed me in the neck. Mm. She stabbed me in the neck with my mm. own fucking K-bar. Jesus. Yep. Pinned my right hand to my neck. Missed my carotid artery by less than an inch. Mm. The, the blade was pressing against my windpipe. So I sounded like this every time I tried to talk. Me ride, man. Sound like me ride. I couldn't even. I couldn't even drive. I couldn't even drive because in England the, the shift is on the left hand side. Oh yeah. I had to get the bus to, to, the, hospital. to the hospital. And the bus driver, I literally, I opened up, the bus driver looks at me and goes, "Don't worry about it, mate. Just get on." I sat down. The person, the person standing next to me, sees me, stands up, and walks away. Of course. Because my hand is literally held to my neck with my... All you saw is the handle of the bayonet sticking out the back of my hand. I actually have a scar on the back of my hand in the center of the back of my hand. And if I wasn't scratching my neck at the time I opened up my front door, I'd be dead. Wow. Literally. And all because my ex accused me of sleeping with my sister. Thank God you weren't scratching your balls at the time. Jesus yeah. Christ. <laughs> Tell me about it. I'm serious. God, Mike. I'm no, I'm serious. What it was was my ex apparently had been stalking me and saw me talking to a really tall blonde. I'm like, okay, did she have three kids with her? Yeah, that's my sister, you tit. <laughs> no, I've never met her before. We've just started dating. It's not like I'm gonna take you to my fucking families and say this is my great auntie Henrietta. This is, for fuck's sake, <laughs> you know. Went to the hospital. They. That they x-rayed me and everything else and the doctor didn't dare want to move it pull it out my k-bar so they cut deeper across my neck found out it was behind it literally the blade had wedged itself between my vocal cord and my carotid artery Jesus. oh god lucky 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 dude. i was uh, trust me if i was wearing my plus one lucky t-shirt that day i was <laughs> they slowly pulled the blade out and then they pulled it out my hand and then they stitched up the back of my hand, the front of my hand. They had, you know, and I had to do physical therapy to make sure that my tendons were good. And for still for months, my voice was still like this because the, the way my yeah, scruffy. Yeah, that's why it's easier for me to do. A, no, I'm serious. It's why it's easier for me to do a deeper voice than it is a higher pitched voice. Most guys can do a higher pitched voice a lot easier. Like, yes, you, it's a good old neighbor. But I can actually do a deeper voice a lot better than a high pitched voice. Because you get stretched out. Yeah. Because you exactly. Also, you would have gone much better. Like Casey Tron. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I, it would have been Casey Tron over, mate. But no. And, and, and lo and behold, after I got out of the hospital and, and, and I'm doing my physical therapy, there's this apparent tall blonde there at the hospital with me with her, these kids and she comes running up she slaps my sister in the face yelling don't you dare try and touch my man my sister doubles up and bam fucking Mortal Kombat style uppercut <laughs> right on her nose fucking wow. clara everywhere she goes flying about three feet lands on her back and she goes that's my fucking baby brother you psycho cunt and she gets up 
And she's like, you punched me. She goes, you fucking slapped me. You hit like a girl, I hit like a guy, and I knocked you the fuck down. Now stay down. Bitch. Nice. <laughs> you know, and that's my older sister. I love you, Michelle. I love my older sister. A Sounds and like pleasant girl. Oh yeah, she don't don't fuck with her. I love her. I love her. I love her. <laughs> and, and, and so, long story short, that's how my oldest sister met my my girlfriend, my ex girlfriend, I should say. Your ex. My ex girlfriend. And, and literally a week later, she looks at me and goes, "Dump the bitch. She's fucking psycho." <laughs> <laughs> and I spent the next four years trying to dump her. Trying, seriously, yeah. trying. I'm like, I'm gay. I, I'm literally, I'm like, I'm gay. Really? Yeah, this is Chris, my boyfriend. My, my ex-roommate. You know? I'm like, yeah, me and him are totally in love. You know, like, holding hands and whatnot. And she goes, kiss him. I'm like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm sure if you're desperate enough, you would have. I, I tried, but he's stubble. It was like static electricity, man. <laughs> just, just, <laughs> nah, I just couldn't do it. Just couldn't, even he couldn't do it. It was like, nah, man, you're like a little brother to me. This is weird. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Really it, it would be me like try honestly it'd be like me trying to kiss Mike with that that beard, you know. I think that'd be soft and bushy. No, it's very wiry. Actually, actually wiry. no, it's not. I, I condition it. Yeah, it's it's okay. yes, of course he conditions Let's it. Go ahead, the well, the go ahead. sucks. I'll kiss. <laughs> it, it's it's actually very soft. I condition it and shampoo it and you know have beard oil and yeah. And so yeah, it 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 was fucking horrible. Eventually, we part ways. You know, amicably, I should say, with me hopping on a plane and saying, FUCK YOU! <laughs> Literally, I hopped on a plane and moved to America. That's how me and her broke up. Because I know the bitch wouldn't get on a plane because she doesn't have a passport. And if she ever does, I will call her up and say she's a terrorist. She's a terrorist. I swear to God, she's a terrorist. Seriously. She's part of the Gal Qaeda. The Gal Qaeda? Yeah, the Gal Qaeda, yeah. <laughs> yeah, trust me. No, I'm serious. She's a fucking. She's psycho. She's oh, fucking oh. psycho. <laughs> yeah. I'm um, trusting, and that's the thing. I when I first moved here, I, I called up my mum and my family, and they're like, "Where have you been for the couple, last couple of days?" I'm like, "America." They're like, "No, no, seriously, where are you?" America. No, no, seriously, where are you? America. Look at the number I'm calling you from. <laughs> Where in oh. England is the number one zero 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 five nine four nine nine? Because I use a, a calling card. You know, mm. I'm like, seriously, where the fuck is that number in England? It's like, what are you doing in England? What are you doing in America? <laughs> Trying to avoid my fucking psycho ex. I live here now. Yeah, I'm like, I live here. I am never going back there. I'm in, f I, and I literally, I am afraid for my life. If I have to put that on a fucking temporary visa. I will, god damn it. Why won't you go back to England? I'm afraid for my life. Oh Sexual really? Asylum. Yeah, I, I do. I want I want asylum. I want fucking asylum. My, my uh, oh your country's gonna kill you? Oh. No, my ex is gonna kill me. <laughs> That's why I said sexual asylum. Yeah, I want sexual, sexual I want sexual asylum, yeah. That sounds like a band name. Yeah. <laughs> it does, it sounds like a punk band name. It's a punk band. Yeah, sexual asylum. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. Sheena is a dirty hooker, Sheena is a dirty hooker. Yeah, exactly. And, Save and, me. <laughs> yeah. And so, it, it, my ex is a proper fucking out there psycho. And I know we've all had those sort of goals, and it, people try to exaggerate their stories, but I actually have fucking evidence backing mine up. You know, I have scars, x rays, and fucking police reports. You know? Yep. And then she has the fucking ball, and this is the fucking thing. She has the balls about four or five years ago to tell the police and my family and everyone else that I used to beat her daily. Right. I'm like, how? I live in America. It's not like my arms are that fucking long. You know, seriously. Is there transport Danny technology? The orangutan. Exactly. Is there fucking is there fucking transport technology that I can just beam the fucking your house, beat you like a fucking red headed stepchild, and then beam back here? No, I don't fucking think so, Scotty. Yeah. And and the dumb thing is, half my family believed her. Seriously. I'm like I'm like what the fuck? 
Now, 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 this is why I am I am crazily proud to say that Mike is my family. You know, that that that, that Michelle is my family. That, that you are my family, Stuart. That you are my family, pal. Because I really don't want to be associated with my actual family anymore. <laughs> They're either no, fucking. No, no, honey, honey. The best one your ex tried was to convince everybody that her son mm. was yours. Yes, what when was he's my... actually a drug dealer that's in jail. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Her, her, and he her... was probably born after you, uh, or before you were even dating. It, it, right? Okay, work this out. My 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 daughter Molly, my actual birth daughter. She's now fo- fourteen. Yeah, her she's bro- a year younger than Melina. Her brother, her 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 her, her step brother. I'm mad. It is now nine, and the last time I went back to England was seven years ago. So yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. And she I got, even she has an elephant's gestation period then. A, a pretty much. And I, I, my exact words to her was either you carry a baby like an elephant, or my semen is so fucking slow, <laughs> it might as well be fucking Sid the Sloth. <laughs> or worse, they don't even look like each other. My daughter is the spitting image of me. I shit you not. She looks poor just bitch. like me as a, yeah, poor poor bitch. Yeah, she looks just like me when I was her age, except for she has like longer brown hair. Uh, mine was blonde, but the eyes are the same, the nose is the same, the cheeks the same, the chin's the same. The only thing of her mother she's got is her mum's skin tone and her mother's hair color. She's got my eyes for fuck's sake, my eye color. She is literally just me, but with dark skin and dark hair. Okay? Her brother, Ginger. Fucking Ginger! He has no soul. He, he's a fucking Ginger Carrot! He's like the love child of fucking Carrot Top! And he has no soul. He has no fucking soul! He's so bad that Bugs Bunny doesn't want to be near him! <laughs> Ronald McDonald's like, get the fuck away from me! <laughs> For fuck's sake, Jared at Subway didn't want to molest him. <laughs> Let alone Michael Jackson. Fucking, 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 fucking Gary Glitter took one look at this kid and went fucking straight. Hey, Mike, you do know why Michael Jackson always shopped at Sears, right? Yeah. <laughs> Every Saturday they had boys' pants half off. Damn right. Replacements. But but do you see what I'm saying? And I'll try to explain to her, I'm like, it's physically fucking impossible. Fuck, here! I'll spit in a cup. DNA test me, bitch. I'll go on Jeremy Kyle. The bitch even went on Jeremy Kyle! She it was on Jeremy Kyle accusing her ex fiance of cheating on her. He's got one testicle! <laughs> I take it that's a talk show over there. Yes, it is. It's kind of like England's version. It's pretty, it's pretty much the equivalent of our Maury. Yeah. Or Jerry Springer. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Oh, no, no, no. And the best part, though, on that one was she wasn't Michelle. No, she, she was, was Michelle. Michelle? Michelle. <laughs> I'm like, Michelle Seashell on the seashore. Drown the bitch, drown the bitch, never, never more. <laughs> and... And my, my sister Kelly was like, you do know your ex was on Jeremy Carr, right? Talking shit about you. I'm like, nigga, say what? <laughs> and, and Defamation suit. I found the episode. I watched the episode. Jeremy Kyle asks her, where is Molina, uh, Molly's father in this? And she goes, I don't know. He just abandoned me one day. I'm like, right. right. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, who do I see in the front row? A nice, tall, leggy blonde. There's my sister. <laughs> my sister stands up and goes, Bull fucking shit! You tried to stab him in the fucking neck! Camera goes, whoop, right to her. And she goes, I got the motherfucking x-rays! Shows them to Jeremy Kyle. Jeremy Kyle goes, huh. Wow. And uh, where is he now? And she's like, he lives in America, f- afraid for his fucking life from that fucking bitch. And sits back down again. And I'm like, alright, cool. Fuck, give me a number. I'll call that motherfucker. I'll I'll speak to him on the goddamn phone. You know? You wanna you wanna def 
you know, destroy my character there. Oh, sweetheart, I will destroy you like your uncle destroyed your ass. Because she was molested. Oh, wow. She No, she was molested as a child by her uncle. Oh, okay. Bob's your uncle? What? And, 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 and exactly, but that's why that's why I can never say Bob's your uncle, because she'd just scour at me. Because he might be. No, her actual uncle's name is Robert. <laughs> so, 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 and I'm, I'm sitting there, I'm, I'm watching the episode, and she goes, Say well, uncle, say uncle! And no, 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 this is the fucked up thing. He was like, well, you're always tired, you never want to have sex with me, and all this other thing. And she looks at him and goes, you've only got one bollocks. What fucking good are you? I'm trying to have kids here so I can stay on social security the rest of my life. In front of everyone! On fucking TV! Wow. I'm like, so pretty much you're just going to fuck anything with a swinging dick as long as you can keep pumping out kids to stay on welfare, pretty much. And Jeremy Carl just looks at her and goes, get off my stage. <laughs> awesome. Just, just get off my stage. He and has no standards anyway, so... He doesn't. He standard. doesn't. He doesn't have no standards whatsoever. The, 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 the guy will make a, a fucking Mount Everest out of a fucking sugar cube, you know? And and, and 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 the guy has no fucking self-esteem or pride. I'm surprised he's not been on a, on a sh- I'm surprised Jeremy Carl has not been on Murray Povich. You know? And the lie detector wow. says that you don't have a show. <laughs> I'm serious, dude. Jer- Jeremy Carl actually has a US version of his show. I know. I, that's it was funny because I was watching TNG the other night on BBC and it was talking about the Jeremy Kyle show. Yeah. And I, 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 every time I hit, hit that, I'm like, Jer- it's not Jeremy Kyle, it's Jeremy Carl! <laughs> <laughs> you know? <laughs> Fucking Walking Dead. Does he scream every time he talks? No, no, no. But he's blonde. <laughs> that, that explains it right there. Easily. Yeah, he is. He, he's too easily distracted, yes. Just Google Jeremy Carl, you'll find him. He's the most fucking... He, he looks like a pedo. <laughs> yeah. and, 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 and this is the thing. During, during that time, he was suffering from that butt cancer thing. You know, he was going through <laughs> through the, the chemotherapy. What do you have, like, rectal cancer or something? Yeah, something like that. Or, or testicle Colon cancer. cancer. It, was one, it was one of the cancers to do with his giblets down, down below. He's 50, he's 50 years old and he does look like a Michael Barrymore. That's all I need to say. And you're probably thinking, who the fuck is Michael Barrymore? Michael Barrymore was a game show host who was actually as bent as a fucking as a banana. And, and, and actually ended up going to court because a dead fucking male hooker was found floating in his swimming pool. Hmm. I just found him there. Mm-hmm. I I just found them there. I tried to give him CPR with his through his anus, but nothing happened. <laughs> I pumped all the air in there. I could. Yes. It, it, it's like the age old joke. This is why you never go to medical. Ne- go never go to to, to 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 medical test facilities where the doctor looks gay because he ha- if he gives you a smelling test and you pass out and then your ass hurts, it's usually because he used chloroform on you. <laughs> It's like it's like the other one, you know. Went to the doctors. The doctor told me to, you know, pull my trousers down and bend over, and so I did. And all of a sudden, I realised something was wrong, and he had both hands on my shoulders. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> I feel something wrong up there. Yeah. Wait a minute. I think this is a colon pole, but no, 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 no. That's just a sphincter. <laughs> uh, we're past the sphincter now. <laughs> oh, oh God! God. Oh, don't, mate. <laughs> oh, you are a tight one, aren't you? <laughs> he should not be doing a no-handed prostate exam. Massage. Yeah, you know, you know, no hands. you know, it's ironic. But there's a movie called Guest House Paradiso. It, it's done by Rick Mel and Adrian Edmondson. And there's a scene where he actually traps the tip of his penis in a till drawer. <laughs> <laughs> and ironically, I've actually done that. <laughs> It fucking hurts. This story we must hear now. <laughs> I was working at, at in Peckham's KFC. You can you can Google this shit. The KFC is still there. I was working the late shift, and I just I I, I don't normally work tells. I usually work the, the 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 cooking line, cooking the chickens and stuff. And cooking. 
Yeah, Cook, <laughs> cook cooking with Cobra. Yeah. Long story short, one of our shift work shift workers called in sick, and so my boss asked me if I could work the till. I'm like, yeah, sure. You're gonna have to show me though. So he starts showing me, you know, this, you know, press this, this, this. If they order this, this, then you, you show me the, the the main buttons I need to know. I'm like, all right, call. And he goes, be careful because the till will hit you in the groin if you're not careful. I'm like, all right, call. Cool. So, you know, not paying attention to it, this really fit chick walks in. I'm like, oh. you normally don't eat fucking KFC. What the hell, you know? This <laughs> this girl looked fine. Okay? And she goes, uh, I'd like a number three, please. I'm like, okay, cool. So that's two pieces of chicken and chips, blah, 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 blah. Told her the amount. She goes, okay. So she hands me the money. I pressed total, and I forgot to take a step back, and it went wham right into my bollocks. <laughs> And I buckle over, leaning over like this. My face is like inches from her tits. And she goes, excuse me? I'm like, no, it's not you, darling. It's not you. I just smack my bollocks with a fucking till. And she's like, oh, you poor bastard. I'm like, yeah, tell me about it. You're fine as fuck, so I'm half, half erect as it is. And she starts giggling, you know. Hand her a change. Turn around. Grab her the food. And I go to close the till... And my tip of my penis is right there. <laughs> and it goes clang. And I'm like, son of a bitch. And I yell it so fucking loud. She jumps. <laughs> drops her chicken. <laughs> she had her back to me. And I'm leaning over the till. Trying not to fucking cry. And she goes, what? And I look up there skipping a beat and says, I'd just like to see that ass walk away. God damn, you're fit, darling. <laughs> Lean over and I hit the emergency button and there's no fucking key in the till. Because you can't hit the emergency button without a tea in the, the key in the till. So I'm yelling at my fucking boss, you know, come here, come here. He comes up, realises what's wrong and he goes, oh, fuck. Grabs the key, lets it out and I'm like, cling. And all of a sudden I'm like, oh. I, oh, God. I honestly thought I had pissed myself. Look down, that was blood. <laughs> <laughs> only, only on this podcast, ladies and gentlemen. Only on this podcast. Yeah, and with that note, about dicks we start the Confederate tra- flag and end with penis in castro. And we're going to go back to the Confederate flag right now. All right. Okay. Got to make it full circle. It has to yep. be full circle. Got to link dicks in Confederate flags somehow. <laughs> uh. Um. <laughs> well. There's a bunch of dickheads arguing about the flag. Well, look, no, have you ever noticed it's not actually a white person that says they want that flag down? It's a Hispanic woman. Huh? The woman who wrote the bill into law that made them take down the flag is is Hispanic. (laughs) And yet... Okay. And... and, and I was just linked to dicks. It's linked to dicks because, trust me, she is a dick. Okay. But most importantly... There's even African African American people saying it's not the Confederate flag. Dude, I know a bunch of black dudes that have huge pickup trucks that rock that shit on the back window of their truck. Yeah, it's a Southern <laughs> pride thing anymore. It's right. not not a racist thing. It's it's seen as like a rebel thing. You know, you live yeah. dangerously. You live outside the box. You're you know, it's you're a rebel. Ooh. Well, big red flag. Drink drink moonshine and shit. You know, you know, yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Hey, it's it's not methanol. What are you talking about? <laughs> the, la- the last time I ate moon- I-, I drank moonshine and ate someone's shit. There I was. In Vietnam. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, but at the end of the day, it's the Confederate flag is not a racist thing. Hanging a rope from a tree is a racist thing. That, or you really need to hang something from a tree. Yes. <laughs> and, then, My, and, tie, and that particular knot is necessary. Yeah. But at the end of the day, guys, it's not a racist thing. If a black guy calls me cracker, I laugh. And they're like, why are you laughing? No, I'm, 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 not, I'm not. Can you not come up with anything that can actually insult me? Well, your, mom, your mom is so fat, she jumps and she gets stuck in the air. Oh, bravo. That's at least an attempt. <laughs> nice try. Seriously, try something else. Yeah, and, 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 well, I fucked your wife last night. Really? Good for you. 
You get Hep C just like me then. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Yeah, oh, they, 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 they literally, black people cannot come up with a single racial slur for white people. And I swear, that's what pisses them off. Yeah, they, they can't think of anything that'll stick and we'll be offended by Because, frankly, we've heard enough shit from everybody else our whole lives that we're not offended by anything anymore. Exactly. <laughs> now, don't get me wrong. There are these racial purists that keep saying, you know, whites should only stay with whites. And blacks should only stay with blacks. I say, That's fuck it. Really fucking awesome yeah, who gives a Seriously, fuck? fuck. <laughs> I've dated some black girls that, yeah. Jesus Christ, they can suck a dick. Okay? I, I've dated some Asian girls, and Jesus Christ, can they fuck a dick. Okay? I have dated probably every fucking color of the rainbow. The only thing I haven't dated is probably one of those blue alien chicks from, from fucking Star Trek. Orion. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, yeah. No, those are green. green. They're green in Star Trek, yeah. But whatever, you know. I, I, I'm serious. Your geek cred. That and I have, and I've never, and I've never had, I've never had sex with a guy with tits. I'm sorry. There's no such thing as chicks with dicks. It's guys with tits. Okay. If it's got tits, it's good enough. Well, you're, you know, if you're a tit man, you must fall head over heels for Casey Tron then. Oh fuck off. I don't, <laughs> yeah, I, don't, I, don't I don't go for um, things outside my species. Ah, uh, okay. He's that into bestiality. <laughs> yeah. I have got some poor. I've got some for Mike! Fuck you, yeah. Mike! What? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> fuck that woman's a heifer. <laughs> I wasn't even the one that brought it up, and yet I got Mike! <laughs> Cause I'll do this all the time. <laughs> see, see now, now the funny thing is, I actually have a black friend who likes to copy the uh, um, the Vine guy, uh, Tyrese, I'm going to fuck your wife. Oh, God. And uh, I, and he literally, I'm, I'm sitting there and he goes, looks at me and goes, I'm going to fuck your wife. And I looked at him and said, great, you can get hep C with me. <laughs> and he stops instantly and goes, I'm not going to fuck your wife. <laughs> 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 oh, you see what I'm saying? That's the sort of banter I have with some of my work colleagues. You know, that I used to have back in Salt Lake. Because I, 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 there was black guys, Hispanic, Asian, you, you name it. We had a, a whole... We were we were literally like a rainbow of ethnics in, in this work, in this shop. Yeah, our boss, hardcore Mexican. Dude had the Mexican flag in his office. You know, I swear to God, if he yelled immigrado, he'd run out the window. <laughs> <laughs> Why? They give you lunch and shit before they take you back? And so... But... It was such a cool work environment, you know. We'd all we'd all joke around and have banter and stuff like that, and it'd be like, "Oh yeah, oh yeah, we got a white." Uh, and, and my buddy's like, "We got a, an insult for for a white guy." I'm like, "What's that?" And he goes, "Trailer trash." I'm like, "That's not an insult." Yeah, it is. <laughs> I'm like, "No, it ain't. I don't live in a trailer. I live in a house. You live in a trailer. So therefore, you're trailer trash. I live in a house. No, a prefabbed house is not a house." My house isn't a prefabbed house. My house was built in 1903. My house is made of brick and concrete and half dead niggers that built the damn thing. <laughs> and that's when my friend Tyrone goes, Did you just say niggers? I'm like, Yeah, you got a problem with that nigger? <laughs> and he's like, And he looks at me and goes, That's our word. I went, No. Scruffy looking nerf herder is our word. Get it right. <laughs> And he goes, yeah, you might know further. <laughs> oh, God. But do you see what I'm saying? That's the sort of banter I used to have. The place I work at now, we've got my boss, Justin, who's half Irish, half mutt. Miguel, who's half Hispanic, half whatever, and myself. <laughs> what the fuck is it? I, I, I couldn't tell you because half the time... A bastard Mongol breed. Pretty much. <laughs> Pretty much. I swear to God, half, half the Dirty Rascals is his kids. You know? <laughs> Including the one-eyed dog. You know? And so... I, I can't have as much fun at work as I can when I, where I used to. And it's okay. I understand that. You know? The whole work harassment in the workplace and all this shit. And, and, and I want to know Sexual how that... assault. Uh, he touches I mean, once. I, I only backhanded... I, I did a San Francisco busboy to him. Okay? 
Now you're probably thinking, what the fuck is a San Francisco bus boy? Okay, it's when you say Apple Court. And someone says Baltimore. And I say, who's your buddy? And that's when they say the person's name. And then they say what you want them to do. It's a drinking game. So, if I'm drinking a beer and someone says Apple Court, I'll say Baltimore. And they'll say, who's your buddy? And I'll say, Miguel. And it'll be like, okay, what? San Francisco bus boy. And they're like, what's that? And I went, basically, uh, uh, if, you've, if you've ever been a busboy in a restaurant, you know you have to pick up the plates and whatnot, and you have to be careful where you put your hands in case you knock over a drink and stuff like that. Well, a San Francisco busboy is where you purposely backhand someone in the testicles. <laughs> <laughs> and so, my, 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 my boss Justin was eating an apple. And he calls his dog over and gives him the apple core. And I'm like, what's that? And he went, it's an apple core. And I went, Baltimore. And he's like, oh, fuck you. Who's your buddy? <laughs> and I went, Miguel. And he's like, what? And I went, San Francisco bus boy. And he's like, you bastard. <laughs> so he walks up to Miguel and goes, hey, Miguel. And he goes, what? Bam! And he backhands him right in the groin. And he drops this full fucking steel chrome bumper oh, that on. belongs on a 55 Chevy. Oh. Right on the ground. I mean, Miguel crumpled like a, like a fucking beer can. <laughs> and I walked up and said, "That's sexual harassment." <laughs> and I walked off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's okay. At least it's not as bad as some of the shit we do at my job. <laughs> For the longest time, we, we had a game where you would just randomly walk up and hit somebody in the trachea. <laughs> <laughs> it got cool to the dog. point where, where where the boss was like. If I see it on camera again, <laughs> you're fired. Yeah, we, we called it clotheslining where we were. Mm -hmm. yeah, you know, like someone would be w walking past you, you should put your heart on my out and whack them over as I go in time. <laughs> Done that before. Hold on That's one fine. second, my cat it needs to be let in. <laughs> one, one of the things my, that my, my buddy Chris used to do back in, in, in uh, the Pie and Mash shop he used to work in was, oh. called, was called the RKO. And just like Randy Orton, out of nowhere, an RKO <laughs> while you're at work. <laughs> <laughs> he actually RKO'd one of our Saturday boys and almost dislocated his jaw because <laughs> he did it down three slight that down I think it was like it was seven stairs and there's supposed to be 12 stairs to a flight so basically a half a flight of stairs he had a sack of potatoes in his hand and, and, and my buddy Chris was talking and I went out of nowhere and he drops a sack of potatoes like you bastard, and Chris, my, my buddy Chris, just grabs him. Man, my, my buddy Chris, he's about six foot two and weighs about three hundred pounds. Okay. Grabs this scrawny little sixteen-year-old boy by his hair and the back of his skull, and just jumps down these stairs. Bam! <laughs> the kid was unconscious. It was just. <laughs> And my buddy, my boss Graham comes downstairs and he goes, Kick, kicks the poor boy, like, get up. What's <laughs> fucking wrong with you? Honestly, you can't get good employees anymore. <laughs> you still, can't even take a hit anymore. Come on. Still to this day, my boss Graham doesn't know about the RKO game. <laughs> well, oh, no, I'm sure he knew. He knew. <laughs> It's too fucking funny because <laughs> my last day of work, I was like, I know I'm gonna get RKO'd. I just know I'm gonna get RKO'd. I just know I'm gonna get RKO'd. Right up to the very last minute before I'm about to stop, uh, you know, punch out on my very last day of work, and all I hear is out of nowhere. I'm like, oh fuck! <laughs> Turn around and there he was waiting. Bam! Fucking RKO's me. <laughs> <laughs> Nosebleed, fucking popped my lower back. Fuck it, hurt like hell. Uh oh, we got, a, we got a RKO out of nowhere. Yep, <laughs> yep. Literally, it was like RKO out of nowhere because my buddy Chris is a huge wrestling fan. Fan. He actually um, tried to be in British boot camp for TNA Impact. Uh, RKO out of nowhere. Yep. Uh, uh, I'm all KO out of nowhere. It's at this moment that Jackson knew Randy Orton was here. Bye! Watch out, watch out, watch out! Bye! <laughs> 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 <laughs>
<laughs> what you're not seeing currently is the video that Danny is watching. <laughs> and that, now that I'm watching. <laughs> <laughs> the coffee cups. Wait for it. Wait for it. The drunk fat chick. Bam! Okay, that was a fucking giraffe. <laughs> Soccer players. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Speedboat! Oh, that's too hilarious. Oh my god. Oh, I'm just now seeing the fat drunk chick. BAM! <laughs> a 360 RKO! Some of the skateboard ones are the best. <laughs> oh, oh he, he RKO's him while he's grinding down. <laughs> Ice skating. <laughs> You're right, the speedboat is hilarious. Oh my god. <laughs> There's fucking 16 minutes of this shit. <laughs> I'm sorry for uh, sabotaging the uh, podcast. In fact, I'm gonna end it here. <laughs> but uh, stay safe, have fun, and RKO out of nowhere, guys. <laughs> RKO, nah! do an RKO San Francisco bus boy at the same time. Nah! <laughs> I'll see you in the next one. Chelsea's okay. Look at Randy Orton slithering. Watch out! Watch out! Watch out! Watch out!